okay so today we shall see how to test a pcb what are the different parameters that we should be worried about so if the pcb is looking like this brownish in color that means it is a paper phenolic okay and if it is looking like this then it is a glass epoxy with a green masking okay this green color is called as a masking this is used to avoid the short circuit between the two traces and this white data the text in a white color is called as a uh, legend printing okay or it is also called as a silk screen okay so this is mostly used for a commercial purpose and mostly uh, we use a uh, paper phenolic for uh, academic purpose okay so this is my paper phenolic pcb just i have manufactured this and if i turn it this is a thickness of my pcb the thickness of my pcb is approximately 1.6 mm you can see this thickness is 1.6 mm and if i turn it around okay so we have a copper traces okay these traces have the thickness again i'm talking about the thickness of the traces is not width i'm not talking about the width we are talking about the thickness how much thick it is over the paper phenolic material that is nothing but a 35 micron okay now we shall see uh, these traces the or that are also called as a tracks tracks or traces are having the width that is 0.025 inches okay then uh, we have this ic this is a 40 pin ic it is dip in nature okay this 40 pin ic is a uh, dip nature okay in a package okay so these drills whatever drills we have for the ic base these are having the thickness or the drill size is 0.8 mm okay this every drill is drilled with a 0.8 mm and if i take these two consecutive uh, pins okay if i take these two consecutive pins of my ic the this distance is going to be uh, 2.54 mm okay this distance is going to be 2.54 mm okay and the entire length uh, entire length of my 40 pin dip ic is 2 inch around 2 inch and the width of this ic the width of this ic is going to be 0.3 inch okay this is going to be 0.3 inch now as soon i go for this point uh the regulator diode these all have the thicker leads so the drill we shall have to use is nothing but uh, 1 mm okay for the ic bases we can use 0.8 mm and for the regulators and for the diodes and other things we can use a uh, drill size of 1 mm okay so these are the pads okay the holes in case of my pcb are called as a pads and those are normally having the size 0.65 inches that is the outer diameter and the inner diameter is 0.029 mm okay yes. okay now how to test the pcb the procedure is absolutely simple there is no rocket science required to test the pcb you just take a multimeter you put it on a continuity okay you have to just uh, test the continuity and open circuit you have, we have set this into the uh, continuity mode and connect the two terminals you should have a beep that means the multimeter is okay okay now what we should do we should start from some point say take this point okay you connect one terminal here i i have a trace so i should have the continuity okay here we should have the continuity and since these two points are not connected with each other we should not have the continuity okay it is not there okay again if you need to check a uh, long traces say this is my first end okay and this is moving like this and it is going to the ground so this is my ground okay if i put it like this i must get the continuity okay okay here we are getting the continuity that means this trace is okay this is okay okay this is okay okay so like this you have to check all the traces okay for the continuity 
and this IC basis if you have some IC basis you have to test for the short circuit just say this is pin number one you connect to the pin number one and another terminal you connect to the two there should not be any beep okay again you keep on testing these points okay uh, till you finish all 40 again here we should have the continuity these are the extended IO lines you connect here one terminal and again here okay you should have the beep okay yes it is having the beep so you connect this that means what you have to finish this testing again for all 40 pins okay and this is all about the uh, connection testing and the short circuit testing okay after that again you have to go through the entire board by the naked eyes also you can easily find out the number of faults okay which are visible if some hairline crack or hairline break is there in a some particular path or there is a bridge or a short between the two lines that can be tested with the multimeter this is very simple uh, procedure for testing the pcb thank you thank you very much